griddle cleanup. All right, so I decided to do somewhat of a griddle torture test. I'd cooked a pretty starchy meal on this, and I just let it keep cooking after I was done enough to get it down there good. And you can see checking the temp, 375, still hot, you know, not super hot, but hot enough to help you clean, 349 over there. Uh, a little lower, but not much. Someone squirt some water here. See that bubbling? It's still hot enough to bubble, but right here, you know, I'm not putting a lot of pressure, but it's still not cleaning it that much with the spatula. So I'm gonna squirt this water all over it, let it sit for just a little bit. That's gonna bubble up, and that's starting to break that residue down. And you can see the steam coming up. It's just working its magic. And this, you know, a lot of people use a scraper here. I just I've gotten a habit of using my spatulas. They got that tapered in, but just uh, you see how I'm going kind of slow and steady, but applying a good steady pressure to it. Uh, some spots will be a little bit more stubborn than others. I'm not having much issues right here. I, I push it to the back. Uh, that's just kind of, I usually push it to the back and work it to the front. Is this how it feels natural to me? I have it. I started it's right there, a little stubborn, just a little bit more water to help. You'll see the griddle shifts. That's the only time I've ever had it shift on me is this when I'm cleaning. I've never had that issue cooking. Here, I'm going to get the cheese. And you can kind of look right here and see it's burnt on pretty good. But no issues coming off. So I'm going to work it to the back. This side right here, just keep scraping. Uh, like I said, I, I turn my spatula. It probably should be the other way. And right here is a little bit of a stubborn spot. But, you know, it cleans it. And it's comfortable like that to do it. So I'm going to swear a little water. Just to help loosen that up. It's cooled down, you know, a little squirting water, and I don't have the burners on them. Just using the residual heat, uh, but you can always, you know, if you need to, turn it, turn it back on. Like right here, you can see it's a little stubborn spot. The water, if it's hotter, would you know do a little bit more there. But I'm still having next to no issue getting it off. Just go over the whole griddle, and uh, you know, like I said. I, this right here you'll develop your own personal preference of how how you like doing it and what you feel is the the way to go but i'm just using my spatulas just keep working it if you see a spot you missed or something needs a little bit more it's no big deal just to go back over it right here i'm going to start i just try to get my pile and i'm going to work it to the the drain pan up here through them holes i've not had any issues with it like i said uh, eight ounces doesn't sound like a lot and i guess it's really not but you know, if you manage your, you know, your liquids well, then I, I've not had any issues. Like I said, it's, uh, I think for what they've got with, uh, from practicality standpoint, that's about as good as this can get with the drain pan. And like I said, I'm not even came close to overflowing it, but I do keep an eye, you know, on my grease and liquids and stuff like that. So I'm just keep working it right here. I got the pile here. And uh, I'm just going to take uh, my other spatula to help me kind of scoop it on. Uh, this right here, you know, it's not all that hot. Probably not as hot as you'd think. Uh, if you have a disposable plate or something, you can put it on that and then throw it in the trash. Just make sure it's cooled off enough to where it's not going to be a, a fire hazard or anything like that. Uh, so now we got the worst part off, but we're still not done yet. All right, so overall it's looking pretty good. You can see a little there in the middle. I probably should have just went ahead and scooped up earlier, but I let the griddle heat up a little. You can see the bubbling going on there. Take the water just to loosen up any last remaining little bits of mess. And I'm taking a paper towel. Uh, you know, the griddle's hot, but not so hot that it's going to like catch the paper towel on fire if I keep moving it. Normally I'd use a rag right here or at least for part of it um, but i don't know where my rags at right now so paper towels gonna have to do spatula keeps a little bit of distance between yourself and the heat and uh you know, it might take a couple paper towels but this right here will just kind of the water's loosen it up this right here will just help you work around and get the rest of the the residue off you can see the edges there the back uh, right now i got my griddle glove on it's getting a little too hot for my liking, so I got the griddle glove. Going to use it. One little steam. Have the water there. Uh, it's amazing how how much that water with the heat can do. But just wipe it down, get the last little bits of residue off, and you're good. So the last thing you need to do, as far as getting the residue and stuff off with this, is the 
the holes up here at the front that go down in the drip pan. It's just a little trick I've figured out is just using a skewer. You can get them for like a hundred pack for a dollar or so at Dollar Tree Walmart. And they're also good to keep around for shrimp and stuff, but just poke it down there and that'll help out good for them holes. So now I'm just putting on a, a little avocado oil, wiping it down until I get a thin coat. You see that shine starting to take form. Uh, that just helps protect it while it's not being in use, but there you go, clean griddle. It's ready for your next cook. Mm-hmm. <laughs>